Libra and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot for your November reading. I thank you for spending some of your time with me. I feel so grateful that you have chosen Spiritual Wellness Tarot to help you in your spiritual journey. Now remember to go ahead and watch your sun, moon, and rising signs. I'm going to go ahead and get some cards started here. And so that way you can get your overall energy. All right, let's see what we got here. We got cards coming out left and right. Now we're going to go ahead and start off with um, three rows. We've got the 1st through the 10th, the 11th through the 20th, and we've got the 21st through the 30th. Let's see what we're starting off with here. Now, um, for those of you who are new here, my name is Julie, and I am a psychic medium here on YouTube, and I use my psychic gifts to go ahead and help encourage those who may need, you know, maybe feeling a little bit lost, but just want to take a quick look into the future and see what they've got going. All right, let's get this all situated here. And I'm not sure if I said this or not, but remember to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs so you can get that overall energy. All right, Libra. Okay, so we're starting off with the Five of Swords, which is about feeling defeated, right? It might be October was a hard month for you, right? And you're feeling a little bit lost. You're feeling a little bit like... What the heck just happened, right? <laughs> Where did the month of October go, right? So it could be that you have those that you have those feelings, but they're going to change. I can see with this reading here that they're going to go ahead and change. We've got the Page of Wands. She is that active kid, right? She's ready for a new project, and that could be you too, right? You might be ready for a new job. You might be ready for a new lover. You might be ready for a new friend, or you might just be ready for a new recipe, right? <laughs> But something new is going to be coming into your life, and it's going to happen fast, right? See how she's got this, the roundness is just going and going and going. It's going to happen fast. It's going to work great for you. We've got the King of Cups here. He is that supportive leader, right? He's very tolerant. He wants to listen to what you want to, what you have to say, right? He's ready to move forward with you and give you that support that you need. You've got the lovers here. Now, the lovers, of course, we think of as love, right? Because you've got the two people there. But it's not necessarily, right? It could be just a partnership. It could be, it could be harmony, right? Time for you to, be, to, to maybe let your guard down and let a lover in or let a new partner into your business to kind of give you a different perspective. We've got the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is all about recognition, good news, right? Well, if you're going to come into a new job here, you're going to be recognized, you know, what is going on. Or here's another here's another option if this is work-related. It could be that, um, you know, maybe you wrote a really great paper or maybe you did a really good project, right? The company is going to recognize you. They're going to realize, wow, this person has more than what it's actually the actually showing right this um, this libra has more incentive to move forward we've got the king of pentacles so we've got two kings here now the kings are all about developing ideas when you get double kings like this so you might be coming up with a new idea because you've got this page of wands here right who is thinking about new ideas now the page of pentacles or i'm sorry the king of pentacles is going to go ahead and be all about whoop going to go ahead and be all about um, that reliable leader. He might even be investing investing in a new project that you have coming along, right? Um, you might need an investor. If that's the case, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's coming in to maybe give you some money to go towards your new business. We've got the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving. It's about prosperity. The more we give, the universe knows, and so the universe is going to give us more right to fill in those the empty spaces when we give to charity or we give to somebody else and it doesn't have to be money right it could be just a simple smile in the grocery store could be maybe just a couple pairs of older shoes that you have in the closet that are still in good shape but you know you're not wearing them and somebody else could use them um, we've got the four of pentacles the four of pentacles is the desire for long-term security. She wants to go live in this neighborhood over here, right? But she's kind of holding on to her purse. She needs to let go a little bit, right? She needs to go ahead and realize that, that she can move forward. She can move and live into this new, this new um, neighborhood. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles, which the Eight of Pentacles is about mastering your craft, learning your craft. How are you going to go about this new job, right, or this new partnership? 
being resourceful and learning is strong, right? You need to go ahead and use that common sense and be strong about things. Learn about things. Ask a new partner, you know, what do you think about this? All right, let's get a clarifier here for you, Libra. A clarifier for the Five of Swords is the Death card. Oh, interesting, right? Because it could be that you were just like, you know, the Five of Swords. Like I said, you're exhausted. You're done. You're, you're thinking that you're defeated, right? But you've got this Death card. Big changes are coming to you, Libra. So whatever was not serving you, Get rid of it. Remove it because you've got big changes coming. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a great card to have on there, Libra. Okay, Page of Sword or Page of Wands. Dang, the moon. I love it, right? Trust your intuition. Whatever you're, you're deciding to do, right? I know that, um, Libra, you know, you're very, you like to make a plan, right? You, you're very smart, right? You're, you're very intellectual. But sometimes it's okay to trust our intuition, especially when you get this moon, star, moon card, right? Trust your intuition. Trust your dreams. You know, what, what do you want? And I don't mean necessarily dreams that are, that are in your sleep, right? It could be what dreams do you have? Right, Libra, what dream, dreams you have that you want to bring into fruition, right? You want to bring forward. Trust those. All right, King of Cups, we have the Five of Wands. Got some challenges, some obstacles, right? We always have challenges and obstacles. And it's just how you react to them, right? You have the choice to either let them bog you down, and get you depressed or get you nervous, or you have the choice of just facing them and moving forward. We've got the lovers, and then we've got the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups is, you know, he's confused. He doesn't know what to do. He's a little disappointed. But all he needs to do is take a look at what's in front of him. He just needs to turn around, right? He is full of abundance, right? But he just needs to get out of his head and turn around and look, right? And look and see what fortunes does he have in front of him. And we've got the Six of Wands. And we have the magician. Now, the magician is about vision into reality, trying, you know, realizing that you can be creative. You need to go ahead and manifest, right? You need to move forward. Look, he's got all four signs there. He's got the air. He's got the, the um, fire. He's got water. And he's got earth on his table here. Time to move. But, but have that vision, right? What is it that you want to go ahead and do? right? What is it? What is your dreams? What is your reality? All right, King of Pentacles. Oh, dang. Double King of Pentacles, Libra, right on top of each other. Holy snap. So I like to use two different decks, especially when I'm clarifying, because when the universe gives us double cards, right, just anywhere, let alone on top of each other, they want us to note what is going on, right? This is going to give you that stronger energy. So, King of Pentacles, holy snap, means you might be doing some investing, right? And again, if we're, if we're talking about a new, um, a new project, it could be that this um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn is coming into your life to help you financially with that, right? Um, but the King of Pentacles is that solid, practical, reliable leader, right? A very wise investor. So remember that in November, if somebody comes into your life, and they want to invest in you, and they can invest in you, um, whether it be money, maybe it's just spiritual, right? Maybe they just want to give you the rah-rah, right? Go for this new project. But it's going to be strong, and it's going to work out great for you. This is just, wow. Double King of Pentacles on the same of, that's crazy. All right, Six of Pentacles. Oh, we're going to start off with the devil. So we're clarifying with the devil. Now, we know that the devil has, you know, a lot of people think that it's failure, right? A lot of people think that it's a negative thing. But you know what? All you need to do, Libra, is release yourself, right? Open up your eyes, get yourself out of these chains, and release yourself. It comes along with the Five of Swords, right? Time for you to release. Get rid of it, whatever's not serving you, so you can move forward, so you can be this King of Pentacles, right? All you need to do is, is release yourself, right? And that could be through meditation, Right? Maybe ask your gods, your guides, whoever your higher power is, how can you show me to release myself from this noose around my neck? Right? 
I really, I'm really feeling down, right? I'm really feeling this Five of Swords energy, but I want to feel the new beginnings coming, right? All right, let's get a card for our Four of Pentacles. Dang, Eight of Wands. I love it. Whatever you decide to do, things are going to move fast for you. I love it, right? Um, and then we have double eights here. Those two go right there. We've got double eights here, and eights are all about recognition and movement, right? And that's exactly what's going on, is it's it's time for you to be recognized. Oh, look, we've got, um, do we have three eights? No, we got two eights. Okay. We've got two eights, and then we've got um, two sixes, also three sixes, actually. Dang, look at all the duplicates on here. You really need to pay attention to this reading, Libra, with all of these cards. So sixes are about relaxation. They're about adjust, um, adjustment, right? Time for you to go ahead and maybe just, and what was I just saying about meditating, right? Time to go out and just rest, right? Ask your gods, your guides, your, your higher power, what is it that I need to do to go ahead and relax and remove these chains? All right, we've got the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups is that nurturing person, right? She likes to go ahead and help. She's very healing. She's very supportive. So she's going to be coming in to help you heal and be supportive. And then we've got the Five of Swords, which the Five of Swords it's about, you know, feeling empty, feeling that you, you know, you, your relationship is not working out. Well, you know what? Listen to this Queen of Cups. Get the, get the, um, get the scoop from this Queen of Cups. She's going to help you feel that, that nurturing that you need to feel, right? And again, the Queen of Cups is going to be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It's just going to make you feel better. It's time for you to go ahead, um, Libra, get rid of the old stinking thinking. Get rid of what, what was bothering you all through the month of, of October. Let loose of the chains and move forward. Love it, right? I just love it. All right, um, Libra, let's go ahead. Let's ask your first question. Yes or no question. And the answer is yes, success. I love it. Beautiful, right? All right, next question for our Libras. Yes or no, angels and spirit guides, what's the next answer for our Libras? Peaceful resolution. Interesting, right? So it, things are going to work out. You just need to give it a little bit of time, right? You need to let go of the noose. And the third question is... The situation will improve. Dang, right? And with this doggone devil here and this five of swords, your situation is going to go ahead and improve, Libra. I love this. This is a great reading. Let me know in the comments if this did resonate with you. And if it did, please remember to smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And until next time, have a great day. I love you all, Libra. Namaste.